my name is Marina Cole. I'm from Irvine, Alberta, and I own Chainsaw Spirit. I've been carving for seven years on April 9th. Well, my name is Michael Penny. I'm from Fernie, British Columbia, and I'm here in Drumheller carving dinosaurs with my friends. It was a really nice to get the invite to come out here. It's a bit of a childhood dream, I guess, being a, an enthusiast as I was uh, for dinosaurs when I was a child. So it's like a little bit of a, you know, a full circle for uh, adult Michael to come and carve dinosaurs here in Drumheller. Carving is something that uh, I do for a living. I have a studio gallery on the highway in Fernie. That's where I uh, work every day. It's been almost 10 years I've been carving. I guess I got into it by meeting a carver and then I sort of just got into the community of them. You meet one and then you meet another one and then you've got friends and the next thing you know you're carving and 10 years goes by and here I am still doing it. I'm Elliot Elford. I'm from Drumheller, local. Uh, I started doing this about four years ago. I like carving mushrooms and dragons and making tables. Mm -hmm. Working with all the live edge is just awesome. My name is Ryan Villiers. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, I've been carving for six years now. Uh, and what got me into carving was the show Carver Kings. That's with Paul and Jacob Fernet there. I saw that show and I thought it was one of the coolest art forms in the world and took it up as a hobby and here we are now. Hi, I'm Paul Fernet from Carver Kings. We traveled from uh, Shakespeare, Ontario, about 38 hour drive. I originally uh, started carving as a fluke. A thief stole a cement statue from the side of my house. And I was going to cut down some trees for firewood and I was really mad that they stole the, uh, the statue and the logs laying on the ground. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna make my own. So I uh, cut off a chunk, stood it up and just chopped the face the base on it. And just a, it was a flat surface with a nose and a couple of circles for eyes and brought it home and the wife's like, where'd you get that? And it's like, I made it. <laughs> Who knew? It's uh, you know, 20 years later, I'm uh, traveling around the world, competing, visiting new places and creating wonderful art. Hey, I'm Jacob Frenette from the Carver Kings. I've been carving eight years full time, but my dad's been taking me around since I was about 12 years old. When we did the Carver Kings TV show, that really, uh, put a bug in me and you know that inspired me to really carve when I realized the amazing things people could do with wood. The goal of all of this is everybody understands we have a big flood mitigation program on the go and we wanted to find a way to repurpose the trees and give them a legacy and this is how this all started. Knowing the flood mitigation was going on they had reached out to some carvers to see if it, there was at least something they could do with the trees and so it all started with the Marinosaurus last year in September. Well, it's a great use to use the reclaimed wood. They contacted us, uh, Marina Cole was part of the event last year and they added more carvers this year. And they asked for me to come and I was more than happy to attend. Uh, it's amazing what uh, Drum Owler did, you know, to give these, these trees a second life. And they didn't let them go to waste. They drove all these amazing artists out here to make something beautiful out of them again. <laughs> I love the idea of using the wood over again good way of recycling it and they contacted us to find out if they could do something we could do something with the trees and uh, I was like yeah we can give them a second life and uh, made made the residents happy we had all carved a piece down on the path that from out of the dead trees that were aligning them and it was I basically had done a woman spirit because last year I had done a wood spirit a man spirit and then I had also done a group of owls and if you go down there you'll see that this says fly free papa and then she had got me to do it construct it for her husband that had passed recently so
fantasy carvings are probably my number one thing so dinosaurs fit right in there because no one's really seen one and the cool thing about it is you can carve just about anything the uh, dinosaur museum was a great inspiration and uh, dinosaurs all over town so they asked us to make some benches and you know we came up with uh, some great ideas I did a triceratops and Lots of fun. I did this piece on before we came up as a little inspiration piece. I wanted to do a pterodactyl flying, but the first day the log, the log had too many nails in it, so I had to kind of throw that log away and come up with a different idea. It's still a pterodactyl coming out of a log. Uh, typically, re realism. People, uh, realistic out animals. If you go on my webpage and my uh, social media accounts, you can see some of my past uh, carvings I've done. Well, I knew that I wanted to do a type of a raptor uh, and I looked at all the different ones uh, and we had a really great meeting with the Tyrell Museum, a guided walk through at the, at the museum and I saw one there and uh, that was how this one ended up coming to, to be. But it's like a true dawn, it's sort of a mid-sized raptor. I guess it's just anatomy, so the animal kingdom, uh, humans, and I like playing with abstraction as well, uh, and fantasy, but uh, mostly anatomy, even throughout all those other uh, things, the, the abstractions and the fantasy, it's still anatomy. My inspiration for this piece was when I was talking to the crew and everyone, I wanted to do something cute. Actually, this dinosaur is the Chasmosaurus urbanisis. He's the dinosaur that was found from my, home, my hometown, actually. I love carving human anatomy. I love doing a lot of different human form and that. So this this is out of my realm <laughs> for what I normally do, but I love, yeah. You know, I, I love carving everything. I love the challenge. Yeah. Uh, for my piece in Drum Aller, I really wanted the, to be like a dinosaur popping out of an egg, you know, the process of life and death, the fossils and everything. So I figured a dinosaur being born would be a good way to go and wanted it kind of nestled in the bushes, which is the leaves coming up underneath and then a hoodoo styled bench on the side. Uh, I'm a big uh, wildlife carver, so I just like carving birds and bears and eagles and those types of things. For carving, you can get custom tools, like bar different bars for your chainsaws, so they're finer tip and you can get more detailing out of them and certain bits you can buy that are a little bit different as well, that are somewhat custom. Whoa. Burning technique does several things. There's the old Japanese, I forget the name, what they call it, but they burn the wood to preserve it. If you go into a forest and you, where there's been a, a fire and you'll see trees that have been burnt many years ago, it could be 20 years ago, there'll be still that stump standing there, but there's a tree that blew over in a storm and it's rotted out, it's completely gone. And it's, well, that's the burning process. It starts a crystallization process of of protecting the wood so when you're burning it it's doing that but also the chainsaws are a real rough cut so we burn it char the surface and then flap sand it and it smooths it so it gives it that nice um, smooth texture and it's like you bring out all the highlights on it so it's a quick way of detailing if you're if you're a chisel carver you got to get those details all down where is that with a chainsaw, you can kind of just swipe across it and then burn it and flap it, and then it, you get the same effect. So. Yeah, the quick carve was an hour and a half, and this is what I did in the hour and a half, and they auctioned it off. And I think a couple who owns a daycare in the Little Owl had bought it. Yeah. Three, so, carvers, two, start up your chainsaw. One, yeah.
what you call that? It's made of wood. <laughs> it's a bear. I'm a good salesman. <laughs> These quick carves will be available for auction. At We're going to start this one at $2,000. I just want to thank you all for supporting this. Uh, thank the Valley for having us. <laughs>